What's up everybody, it's your MIDI mentor. I'm back with another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can take an Elgato Stream Deck and turn it into a control interface for any digital audio workstation. You wanna know how I did it? Well, let's get it. All right, so this is the Stream Deck Mini. I purchased this one for around $59.99 off of Amazon. I will post a link in the description if you're interested. This does come with six customizable LCD buttons. They do sell ones with more options if that's something you wanna look into, but I think six will work. All right, so basically you can use just all six or you can create folders and then have five functions per folder with a back button. So I'm gonna show you how I customize this for FL Studio, which is my doll of choice. However, this would work in Pro Tools, Logic, Cakewalk, Reason, Sonar, etc. All right, so let's start customizing the Elgato Stream Deck and let's use it as a control interface. So you'll notice right here, I have my six buttons. I do have some already that are pre-made. However, we're gonna use some at the top, all right? So you're looking directly at the software right here. Um, these are the six buttons right here. If you look over to the right hand side, this is going to be a whole bunch of different presets and preferences. All right, so what I want to do first is I want to go ahead and create a folder. To do that, right click, create folder. All right, so we can give this a title. I'm not going to give it a title because I'm actually going to um, give it an icon. So to give it an icon, just come right over here, left click on the arrow, and let's go ahead and set from file, or you can create new icons using their um, platform. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set it up with an FL default logo, All right? So there we go. So now I have the FL Studio logo. Double click on that. It's gonna go ahead and open up five more buttons. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna go over here to System. I'm gonna left click on System and we're gonna be using something called Hotkeys. All right, so Hotkeys are gonna allow us to create shortcuts and those shortcuts will pull up that window or that preference or whatever it might be. I'm gonna go ahead and drag over a hotkey. And for this, I'm not gonna give it a name because I do have icons set up for it. All right, so if you wanna find your hotkeys in FL Studio, so say I wanna use the playlist. So I would hover over the playlist. And if I look right over here, when I hover over it, it's gonna show me the shortcut. So the shortcut is F5. So let's go ahead and put that in. So I have this set up as F5. I'm gonna clear the title and I'm gonna go ahead and give it an icon. And this is gonna be the playlist. So now I have a playlist hotkey. So the next thing I wanna do is create another one. So same thing, go over to systems. Let's use hotkey, drag and drop it. And I wanna assign this. So let's assign this to piano roll. So piano roll is F7, left click here. I'm gonna go down to F keys, I'm gonna go to F7. All right, I'm gonna clear the title. Can't leave the title, but I think it looks better with just an icon. So set the icon, and this will be piano roll. All right, so the next thing I wanna add is a hotkey. Let's go to FL Studio. This is going to be the channel rack. So the channel rack shortcut is F6. So I'm gonna left click on the drop down arrow. I'm gonna go to F keys. I'm gonna make this F6. I'm gonna clear the title. I'm gonna set from file. Let's go to channel rack. So, so far we have the playlist, the piano roll and the channel rack. Let's go ahead and add one for the mixer. So the mixer is F9. So I'm gonna go down here to F keys, F9, clear the title. I'm gonna set from file. This is going to be the mixer. Um, I do wanna add a function that actually opens up the program. So I'm gonna just move all these over. You can just drag and drop them. And then what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna have this open. Here, right? Now I want it to open up FL Studio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on these three dots, and then I'm gonna find FL Studio. Right here, I have FL Studio. I am gonna clear this. And it does use the uh, icon from the application of the client. However, I did make a new one. So this would open up FL Studio, this would go to your playlist, this would go to Piano Roll, this would open up your channel rack, this would open up your mixing window. All right, so if I go back, so I'll click on FL Studio, All right, and just to show you how this works, now I have it on here, click FL Studio. All right, so now the next thing I wanna do is launch the program. All right, 
let's say I wanted to open up the playlist, piano roll, channel rack, mixing window. If you want to know all your different shortcuts in FL Studio, always use the help index. So if I go to help, and then go to help index, all I got to do is type in shortcut, and then keyboard and mouse shortcuts. This is every shortcut that's in FL Studio. All right, so I hope this video was helpful for setting up something that's a little bit more hands-on. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, don't give me a thumbs down. Make sure you drop me a subscribe. Also, turn on alerts. It's Joe, your MIDI mentor, and I'm out.